I come this way and of course you have to make sure you fit in the tab you pour this on top you do your rubbing and then hello snack pack welcome back to travel snacks today's episode is a little bit different in that i'm doing my first van tour of another nomad in today's video i'm going to be showing you the minivan of my new nomad friend adriana when you see the way she set up this minivan you're going to be like that's comfy cozy and how did she get everything in there it's a beautiful setup so let's jump right in quick note before we get going adriana has some really unique things and some very cool gadgets in her minivan so anything cool that she mentions during her van tour i will leave the links to those items in the description of this video. It is my pleasure to introduce you to my new nomad friend. Tell them who you are and where you're from. I am Adriana. I am originally from Uruguay, but I have lived in Minnesota 12 years and I am very happy I am not there today because this is sunny San Diego. I am a full-timer. I have been on the road for nine months now. Almost about to be deliver the baby. Uh, <laughs> yes. Now we're going to show your van in a minute, mm -hmm. but what is the name of your van and why did you choose a minivan? The name of the van came accidentally because when I first saw it and I saw this big white thing, I thought, oh, it looks like a beluga, yeah. <laughs> like a beluga whale. And I thought, okay, that's the name, that's it. I researched and in the end it was, hey, let's go cheap. Because what if I don't like the life? Right. So it has to be something that I can get rid of quickly, easily, and go back to my regular life. So I decided, okay, it's going to be a minivan, and it has to be a cheap build. And every time I think of something bigger, I go like, oh, but with this one, I guess I get 23 miles per gallon. And before we take the snack pack into your home, you're also a YouTuber, so tell them what is your channel name so they can follow you. My channel name is Many Roads, No Rules, because it goes with the idea of, okay, I had lived a life of high stress. I don't want that anymore in my life. So I can go left or right, many roads, no rules. I don't have a calendar, I don't have a clock. I go wherever I feel I have to be. I love it. All right, let's relax. let's take them in your van. There you go. This is the bed. This is where I sleep, obviously. And as you saw, the bed is across the van. I started the length lengthwise. That took too much space, so I decided to switch. And I measured, and I played with the inches. If you're five seven as I am or shorter, this is a good option. I'm just saying. Two things about the bed. This is my winter closet, and I can show you quickly what I mean by that. In this sham, I have a lot of jackets and hats and gloves and things like that. If I am sitting on the bed, this is great back support. And this is a, it's the inside of a cushion that I cut in half. If I am parked in a place where one side of the bed is a little higher than the other one, I just stick this ones underneath and they level my bed. Otherwise, in the meantime, they go here. Because having your head a little higher, it never hurts. I have nine inches of foam. Industrial shelves, plastic shelves. As you see, the one furthest away from us is 36 inches long, 24 inches wide. But then this one is across, so they form like an L shape. There's a little gap here. And there are two advantages to that. So basically you have 62 inches or so in the total length. But since these pans have a little slope there, and this side is the same level, 
I was able to cut the legs to the same height, all of them, just to accommodate these plastic tabs uh, to protect my things from dust. When the bed was the other way, I had to have the legs cut shorter on that side and longer on this side and they were moving around all the time. This way, if I don't like this anymore, I just get rid of these shelves. It was a cheap solution, but they are super sturdy and I am very pleased with that. And uh, this is something super important. This is a waterproof mattress protector. It is a twin size. Here is the material. It doesn't make you sweat, but if you sweat, your sweat doesn't come and ruin the foam. Memory foam is called memory foam because it always remembers the shape in which it came out of the factory. So in order to for the memory foam to bounce back and always keep the shape, is what you have to do is prevent your sweat from getting in there. And besides the the mattress protector, it can be washed every time I wash the sheets. That way I kill dust mites and that reduces my allergies. Everything in here has been done with meticulous care. I mean, Adriana's my friend, but are you? If not, become part of the snack pack. All you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, throw a like on this video and keep watching to the end. You haven't even seen some of the best parts of Adriana's minivan yet. The length of the legs, the height of the legs, it's just enough so I can fit those tabs there, those plastic tabs. Because, it, of course, if you have bigger ones, you will have to cut the legs a little higher. But I wanted to preserve my capacity to sit on the bed without touching the, the ceiling. I would say this ones are, the total height is maybe four, 14 inches or less in total just enough to accommodate those tabs. And the reason why I have plastic tabs is because I want to avoid having a lot of dust in my clothes. And you know, being in the desert sometimes it's super dusty. So I have t-shirts on that one. I have some books and little things I really like, like the I Ching in there. Mm. I don't use it that often. A couple of dresses and swimming suits. And then here is my computer, a little folding stool. On this, in this tab, I have a huge mosquito net that ideally should cover the whole van. I haven't used it yet, so meh. Yellow uh, needles and thread and things like that. Orange tools. In this top drawer, two knives, two forks. If you're a minimalist, you don't want to carry thousands of things. I have two glasses. that are the only ones I have. I have little things to warm up my coffee, uh, to uh, drip through a filter, my coffee. But this one is my favorite uh, mug. Uh, the lady who this, does this, she picks up the leaves in the forest and then she imprints them in the ceramics. She's in Etsy and she has amazing pieces. Julia Dean. Very, very nice. Second drawer. Peanuts and coffee. Garbanzo beans, which are floating, stripes to pick the rest of your body. Extra paper towels. Tea, coffee. This one's amazing. Pasta is already ready, and so you just have to warm it up and add something tasty to it. This is my snack drawer. Here I have the only frying pan that I own, the only plate. Batteries and USB cables and things like that, chargers and those kind of things. Well, some cereal came in here. My drone is there and some lights and more USB cables and everything pharmacy. This is my shower dress. If I have to take a shower outside of the van, 
I am dress up with this, and that's it. This is my privacy tent. These bungee cords are enough to hold both in place when I am driving, they don't go away. And this little suitcase, which is what I use when I travel to see my children. If I am not traveling, this suitcase holds my beauty, gas, and papers and things that I don't touch every day. So in the meantime, it is there and it's safe. So one thing that you need to be stealth and also to block the light if you want to sleep late uh, I have this uh, curtain rod it's the cheapest one you can get at the Home Depot the ends are curved I just hammered them open flat and I put them inside of that little groove there because I didn't want to put any holes in the van and so I put these just simple curtains there and uh, the nets behind the seats this one is my this one holds my warm socks for, for the night some lotion and maps and that one has something I will go there to show you okay this is just a dry bag which is amazing if you're in bear country and you have some trash from the day before or maybe even some oranges or orange peels that smell a lot you put everything in here inside of another bag and then you set this one close and no smell comes out living in a small space you need to have something where you can store smelly things. So if you're in here and you need to go to the bathroom or something, nobody can see in. And uh, if it is too bright out there, this is perfect to have a little nap. If you're stealth, you don't want anybody from outside to notice that there is a person actually in there, because that is usually not a good thing. So if I close this ones and I have my window covers up, eh, I can be on my phone or something and nobody sees any light from here. For water, I have like a system and it's split in two areas. This one here holds the leftover water kind of, for example, if I have a bigger tank, four gallons, and when that one is running very low, I pass that water over here so I can get new fresh water in that one. But this is what I use for my, I mean, to wash my hair, take my bath and everything because it's kind of older water. With, today I took a bath and washed my hair and I used that much. Usually it's a little bit more than half the gallon. When I need to fill up water, I just Google Grefell water near me. And that brings up all the supermarkets that may have those glacier machines or things like that. Somehow, so far for months has worked perfect. Water will fill near me. So this is, um, this is an extra gallon of water I have here. It's a bottle that I actually got from Walmart. It was a hydrate alkaline water. I just like the bottle itself. So now I always replenish this one for my nightstand. This is where I drink directly from. Uh, this is the one I use for making coffee or taking showers or things like that. I can tilt this like this, open the faucet, put the recipient there and then it's easy to access that it's it's super practical I didn't want to have anything bigger than four gallons because if I have to take it out of there and go get water and come back is I can take that heavy and this is my precious baby this is the lark bottle it has a beautiful texture and it comes in different colors. The point with this 
is this is where I drink water from. I don't drink from a glass or anything. I always drink from here because I put that uh, water in here, I close it, and then I activate the. See if you can get there. Blue. We have to do it in the dark. It activates a ultraviolet light. So right now it is disinfecting the water here. And the good thing is, I don't need to wash it ever. This hasn't been washed in nine months and it doesn't smell like anything. But the insulated one like this keeps your cold water cold for almost 18 hours. And if it is a hot beverage, it stays cold for like six or eight hours. So it's great quality. Having the bed like this allows me to have access to everything in here. And that was the main condition. Because I thought, what if it is raining like crazy? I don't want to go outside and grab things from the back. I would get totally wet and feel miserable. So that was one of the reasons for the bed like this. And what I do in the morning when I need to make my coffee, I just take my butane stove out. I use my little kettle there. I have access to my food and my little frying pan, so I put it there. If I make a steak or something greasy or smelly, I don't do it here, I do it outside. If I cannot do it outside because it's raining, I don't do it. This is my fridge. But this is just to help preserve the cold here. It is an Alpicool 36 liters. And it has two departments. It has a fridge and a freezer. It is not set for freezing right now. But everybody knows this coffee that you can buy at the supermarket. I kept the bottle because it's just the perfect size for the freezer. So I make coffee once every three or four days and I store it there. And then I have my creamer. I just mix them and warm them up with the little, uh, little pan I have here. And that is the way I have my breakfast in the mornings or I can use the fridge to hold anything else I can actually work here from my laptop or here and that helps so let's say I just finished my food okay so I'm going to use my magic sponge which is just a little bit of kitchen paper and my magic detergent so I spray this once or twice if needed I swipe it up and because my secret detergent is pure vodka it cuts the grease it disinfects the plate and if I am inspired I can spray the plate spray in spray the plate <laughs> spray in not really <laughs> not really that is a very cheap vodka so no I don't do that but that is how I do the dishes every night it takes a minute, you don't use any water, and they are clean and disinfected, and put away, done. This one contains all my panties. When I run out of that, that is laundry day. And this one here holds my socks, so if I need something warm at night, I have them handy because I don't have to get in the van to get them. Just from there, I can go in and grab these dry bags. I love dry bags. These are so practical. And this is my laundry bag. So every time I take off something that needs to go here, it goes there, closes, it's there held by the thing. And so everything is in the proper place. Let me take this here. This, this was a, a, an ottoman that I got it and I added a little cushy top to, hold, to hide 
my toilet, which is a porta body 345. It's, uh, I think it is four gallons. In this toilet, you can do number one and number two together. So I don't have to train my poor body at this time in my life to go one or the other. I have to empty this one every four days or so. And it is legal to empty these ones in any pit toilet or vault toilet. So, and to preserve whatever is in there from smelling around, I use these packs of enzymes. So you just put one in there and they process everything in there. So it doesn't smell and it is actually uh, ecologic. I love the, the one lavender, that is the best. Uh, this is my uh, laundry soap. You just have to learn how to use it because this has a little seat. Don't go too much in there. Once you're done, uh, one thing is I don't use toilet paper because toilet paper is actually wood and that is this is not much better but at least it takes less space i buy swipes and uh, without without perfume that is important and i always clean myself with this and then i dispose of them in this cute little thingy that i love um so this is actually a desk uh, trash bin and uh, the the little bags that come with they're super practical and uh, it's similar to doggy bags but very sturdy and uh, so I know that all that material that is not very uh, ecology friendly kind of thing it is in a bag and I can dispose with that easily. So once you are done, you close the lid, open the latch and everything falls in the tank. You close it. And one thing you have to remember is do not drive without having opened the latch first to make sure everything is down there and not up here. Because if you drive mostly in the mountains, up and down the mountains, that is not good. Now we're going to get a little bit more personal. Kids should be sent to bed. And um, if, I mean, this is just for the very strong uh, to hold. This is my bathtub. And if you remember, I told you I use this for my showers. I put a little bit of body wash here, but just a little bit. I dilute it with a little bit of water leave them there and since this is my tab what I do is I come this way and of course you have to make sure you fit in the tab you pour this on top you do your rubbing and then you rinse and everything goes in the tab and of course then you dry up <laughs> and uh, and then I do my hair after I'm done with that I do my hair the same way. So I put a little shampoo here, dilute it, and I do a first pour, and then I rinse it up. The point is, until you get very good at doing that without a splashing everywhere, you should have either a newspaper or an old towel underneath, so those hold your messes. But it's a very practical way inside of here with your curtains and your window covers nobody can see you and i have paid for showers occasionally at uh, gas stations and places like that i don't feel cleaner than what how i feel after taking a bath here because i do take care of and of course the swipes again they help getting rid of dust and all those things so you can keep really clean by doing that and they I don't make a mess they don't go anywhere that's it 
having everything closed it's just a small space so it is not difficult to warm it up I would never use a Mr. Body heater or anything like that because it is too small a place you only have so much oxygen here you don't want to burn it out with a flame one thing that is fundamental is to keep your warmth around you I got this one at I don't remember it was eight dollars it's they are made of recycled plastic the point is they are like Sherpas they are fluffy and they absorb they retain your warmth around you so I put this one there plus the wool blanket on top and if it is not freezing that is too much heat for me so I, I may run the risk of heating up, uh, sweating. I worked in the mattress industry for a long time and our body regulates temperature properly, but everything comes from our mattress. When our mattress is excessively firm, your brain makes you toss and turn because your brain is stressed out, because it is tired, you heat up. Your mattress is probably either too firm for you or too saggy. So, remember I told you in the beginning I have nine inches of foam and the top one is a tempur topper. Providing you give your body enough softness, your circulation gets protected all the time and then your brain can rest. And when your brain rests, you wake up in the morning rested, happy. I have my pajama here, sorry, all messy. But as you see, it's just a long sleeve, not very thick. I got these, uh, what is it, long johns from Walmart, I think, $3. Occasionally, if it is freezing out there, I put these on and that is more than enough dead and a pair of socks we are good the good thing about being a boondocker is you park in a forest and you open a couple of doors and you have a lot of air running so you don't need anything I sometimes have to cover myself with a little blanket or something because and I go with the heights the elevation yeah, of course. I mean, when it's hot, it's nice to have some air circulating. Uh, this fan is, it is not probably the most perfect brand. I charge it through the USB to the Jaggery 500 I have there. It has a reading lights and of course the fan. And it's quite powerful for in here. But I do have another little trick. These are gutter covers, but they do have a mesh and you can buy them at Home Depot. I think it is three or four dollars each, super cheap. But it, they happen to have a little groove here that is exactly the width of the windows in cars. So if I lower the window, I put it there like this. It's windy today, so I don't know. So, and then you, you raise the window and you can have one on this side, one on the other side. You have air going around. No mosquitoes or bees or flies or anything like that. So you close the door and you have some air flowing. So I do have a Jaggery 500. I should have gone for the 1000. But it's okay, I, I am managing. The Jaggery charges with a 100 panel. So basically 100 watts every hour that we go in there. Otherwise when I am driving, I have it connected to the car, so it charges more. And uh, But usually when I have full charge in the Jaggery, my phone is, is charged 
by the car energy. I have it with a USB cable there, so that is not a problem. I don't have anything electric but my laptop and my editing software soaks in electricity like crazy. So that is the one when I have to use it, sometimes it's not enough, so I have to be careful with that. I do have a family mobile as my service. It is family mobile if you buy it from Walmart, but it is T-Mobile, so it is good. You, you have good signal almost everywhere, and I pay $52 a month, and then I use my phone as my hotspot to provide internet to my laptop. So it is in some areas it might not be the best, but it's more than enough for me. But this is a Lucy light. So that is the name, Lucy. The fun thing about this one is the light is a little yellowish and it has two modes. One of them flickers like a candle so if you like candles, instead of having a dangerous candle in there, you have the Lucy light with a flickering light. And uh, some other lights like this, uh, this one has a very, very uh, powerful light and two modes. It's easy to recharge with a Jackery. The things I love are the things that make my life super easy. I have these a trash can hanging here from the front seat and so I can access it. I just take the bag out and throw it in the garbage. It's easy. I am driving, I can go there. Kleenex holder there, same concept. If I am driving and I need a Kleenex, I just stretch my arm and I get it. What I really like is to be able to find things quickly. I have never been more comfortable than in my little den. <laughs> so the final question to round out the awesome tour of Beluga the minivan is what are your favorite travel snacks? Oh that is not fair. <laughs> Come on. I I would be the perfect host for your channel. Try to take I, over my job. Right, but I eat so much. I love every kind of food. It would be easier to say what I wouldn't ever eat. I would never eat octopus because the poor things are so intelligent. My favorite thing is barbecue, steak, and uh, but from there everything, absolutely everything. Well thank you so much Adriana for sharing your home you. with the snack pack. We love you! In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the inside. I'm going to Plus, you'll see how comfy cozy it looks and follow many rules. So, what do you think is in there? I think those are your clothes. Uh, you're so absolutely wrong. <laughs> I'm. Oh. There are. So anything cool that she mentioned, I will leave the link, the link, the link, the links to, come on. One thing that is fundamental is to have been about the toilet, I cannot talk about coffee. I am trying to comply with your regulations. You don't have rules, but I do. Snack time. Snack time.